well greetings everyone dear friends and fellow Africans what you see here is the just a project of biogas remember just three weeks ago I initiated this project with my fellow colleagues uh, the aim is to find solutions for problems that is facing our communities uh, and we find that because Africa we have enough uh, cattle we have uh, manure that can produce another kind of energy that we call biogas that's why we decided to come to come up with this kind of project as you look around uh, it is not easy to perform this project it costs some amounts but all in all because we want to solve our own problem and to uh, fund our own projects that's why we decided to do so so this is uh, the biogas port uh, as you look around them on the ground uh, on the top you see in the red mark that is the top but uh, in this picture or in this video it is underground you can ask yourself why we decided to have this kind of projects uh, from the beginning when we started many of our projects this is not the first we said and we ask ourselves why we as Africans we can't feed our people we can't do our own things we have intelligent people we have uh, good people but why Africa we can't feed ourselves we can't do our own things that's why we decided to come up with the project of making sure that uh, to stop importing chickens to stop importing uh, fishes you know uh, we have been fed by others for too long so we said no enough is enough let us now starting to keep our own chickens to produce our own food to have our own cows but all these required some uh, equipments and some needs one of the needs for instance in uh, in keeping chicken is just we need heat for the chicken to grow so what kind of energy we are going to use as you know africa we have a shortage of electricity we don't have uh, another kind of uh, energy that is reliable that's why we come up with this project that we can solve our own project i mean our own uh, problem of shortage of energy by creating an alternative energy that is biogas and through this we can produce also some manure that can be used to pro uh, for uh, for growing some crops as you see we can grow uh, some fruits also we can grow some vegetables but all in all it makes sure that we as Africans we can feed ourselves uh, if you listen many people and I have one quote from the uh, Pan-Africanist Thomas Sankala when he, he said those who feed you controls you so we have been tired of being controlled by others that's why we say let us now uh, feed ourselves so that no one can come and tell us what to do no one can dictate us about our own issues uh, so with those few words my dear friends and Pan-Africanist uh, I hope you understand why we initiated this project. It is very, very a uh, huge project, and aim of this project is to make sure that we solve the problem of energy. I, especially now we are talking about the green energy uh, transition. We as Africans, we have a lot of potential. If you look on this continent, we find we have enough suns, we have uh, enough. Uh, a river that can produce uh, hydroelectric power like uh, the Great Hinga Dam. Uh, we have uh, like this biogas because we have enough cattle. Uh, we have winds, so we have to choose. It's our our own decision as African to choose which is better for us. But all in all, if we are not careful, the Chinese will come the Europeans will come, Americans will come and they will do uh, this project and they are starting selling these uh, products to us. They sell the product that is is our own. That is, that is not light my dear friends. So 
I think uh, we have shown the way as Africans, as a young generation, that we can solve some problems. So what we need is to make sure that we as Africans, we fund our project. I know there are some people who are in the diaspora have capacities, they have capitals. Please, my dear friends, uh, Africa is your home. You can come and invest here. There is a lot of opportunities. Invest in education, invest in health sector, invest in agriculture. You can't uh, lose your money because people every now and then need to uh, to need food. So please, there is a lot of opportunities in your mother continent, Africa. So with those few words, let me say thank you for taking your time. I hope you have understanding. And uh, we are coming with another new things be prepared to watch if you you have anything suggestion please write in the comment section or share to your fellow africans we are making africa great